curious films in the Mitchell and Kendall collection. The film party traveled to Airfield Lodge in January 1902 with the intention of making a feature film on the King's Horse, Ambush. They were to be disappointed, however, as Ambush was unavailable and thus contented themselves filming a variety of shots. A picture of the horse and images of themselves entering the lodge on a hackney carriage. The camera crew can be seen in the distance waving from the cab. example of self-advertising from the Thomas Edison Company, as one of the party is carrying a camera case with Edison pictures on the side. Here we see some views of the stables, some of the stable land, and a distant shot of a horse most remarkable of all is this footage of a mock horse race in which the stable lads and camera crew attempt to reenact Ambush's famous victory in the Grand National in 1900. The crew are seen jumping and falling over the fences in a sequence that would not likely have been part of the final edit, but was purely an example of tomfoolery on the part of the camera crew. They returned on January the 21st and finally captured Ambush on film. Seen here, being led out of the stables by his trainer. He is identifiable by the distinctive white marking on his face and his close-cropped tail. This film was being made in anticipation of the 1902 Grand National Steeplechase, for which Ambush was a favorite. Ambush had won the race in 1900, but owing to the death of Queen Victoria, Edward withdrew all his horses from the competition in 1901 as a sign of mourning. Unfortunately, suffered a serious injury and had to be withdrawn. <laughs>